Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Stephen Kellogg, and I'm here at an undisclosed location. Well, we'll start with the man who we are always happy to welcome back on the mountain stage. This is his sixth visit. Really excited. Stephen Kellogg is with us. Singer-songwriter Stephen Kellogg has shared a few speeches. Back in the day, he used to do 275 days a year on the road. Studios with Stephen Kellogg. I'd never heard your music before. I really loved it. The thing is, I, I have been kicking around here for almost 20 years now, you know. I know what you're saying. He does what he does best, which is mine his own life to come up with some truths. Paul Simon does it too. A lot of great writers do it, and I think he's right up there with them. I'm not a guy that gives up. I never give up. Sold out show tonight at Wolfram. Please welcome our friend, Mr. Stephen Kellogg. professional singer and songwriter. It's better to be at the bottom of a ladder you want to climb than the top of one you don't. I got that from The Office. There'll be objects in the mirror. I think Steven is brave, you know, so as an artist, he's an artist's artist. As we look back through the love glass. This music is pretty much the most honest music I've ever listen to in my life. It's like he's writing in his diary. Gotta dance like the symphony of joy. In his music, he exudes optimism, a belief in all our abilities to transcend and persevere. I always say that he's one of the greatest lyricists of our time. I'm going to from the East Coast, Mr. Stephen Kellogg. I got all I ever wanted, but I still cannot believe how I love to take for granted all the love that comes to me, all the love. So I'm just there to say thank you so much for your service. They're away from their families right. for much more than we are as yeah. musicians. I've always kind of operated in different genres, so it gave me a chance to kind of indulge that. We are so After seeing that film about you, Last Man Stand, I have a new appreciation. Do you remember who we were when all of this began? Uh, 15 years. I do this because uh, I don't feel that I have an option. And it's, it's also how I feed my family, so. For me, music, music just has to, to say something. Gonna be the last man standing. I've written a book of corresponding essays about life, marriage, and music. That writing the book is harder than I thought. Yeah. I'm about to start work on a new project. A series of essays that correspond to oh, yeah. a new book. It's like I got four daughters. I want to see them grow up and I want to I want to dream new dreams. Ooh.